offer the full gamut of engineering programs and all of our programs are ABET accredited, um, which is very, very important. So our major programs are in civil engineering, mechanical, chemical engineering, electrical and computer engineering. We have computer science, also chemistry for the undergraduate program. Now we have a number of graduate programs and the cyber forensics one of those. The class size is just really small and it really helps out the student as well. So networking opportunities just really increase in that aspect and like you know your professors, they know you. We've built bridges using um, spaghetti. We've built and programmed robots. So you kind of get a feel for all the different disciplines. We begin to introduce from day one in the Intro to Engineering course some core engineering concepts. Um, there's, there's definitely team building skills that we implement starting freshman year. Uh, with each project that we have, we're required to assign um, different positions for that project. The groups that you're put in aren't all just specifically chemical engineers or all electrical engineers. So the way we split it up was if it was a chemical related project, I would kind of take the lead and so on. They've got to be able to compete in a global market, which means they're going to have to be able to communicate their ideas. They're going to have to be able to work with people that could be literally from all over the world. Being a team leader is definitely great, so it, it shows you how everything goes like overall. And um, you, you might not be doing a lot of the hands-on stuff, but you're really organizing everything, so you're making sure this is going according to schedule. The student chapters typically have competitions. In chemical engineering, they have a really neat competition, the Chemi car, where they have to design a car that has to be able to move a certain distance and then stop. I mean, it sounds pretty basic, but it's actually really difficult just trying to predict how the reaction is going to go. Um, first, we just had to mechanically build the car, um, and then, of course, we had to get the reaction going, and we had to build the battery um, so that we could charge that up. Uh, we've actually had electrical engineers um, work with us there because we do work with circuits and everything, and we're not able to de like, design a circuit ourselves. So we'd go to the uh, electrical engineers, and they're able to design that for us to use in our chemistry car. The engineering is quite challenging, the curriculum. And what we're able to do at a smaller school like UNH is we get to know our students so that if they're struggling, we can actually help them. So I think it's just a great environment for students uh, to be in and I think just increases the chances that they're going to succeed.